everybody. Uh, cheers to you and all you do. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. Um, I know that it has been quite a few moments since I've made a video. Um, a little over two months now. Um, so I'm going to just start off by... <clears throat> uh, I mean, there's really no easy way to say this. So uh, my mother passed away in September. Uh, it was um, unexpected yet expected, I guess. It's a weird situation. She overdosed. Uh, I believe that I have talked about her in some previous videos, but um, she um, has been an addict for a long time. And she had been sober for five years now. And... She relapsed, and if you are unaware of the drug situation in this country, um, fentanyl is a very devastating drug, and unfortunately, she did not survive her relapse. So it's been an interesting journey to deal with her death and all of the things that go along with when someone dies. And then on top of that, she left a lot un undone on everything so it's just been quite um i guess for lack of better words it's quite a mess to clean up and so it's been very time consuming and stressful and kind of overwhelming so that is why i have not been making videos uh so i like, I almost said I'm sorry, but I don't think that that's something that needs to be apologized for. I mean, obviously, that's a, that's a rough situation. And it just took some time. So, but back now, um, things are still moving along forward. Um, it also has been a crazy busy time because um, I have several business ventures that are kind of up and going. And we are in the process of doing a storefront. <laughs> which unfortunately right now has all of my mom's stuff in it that we are trying to sell and it's just one of those things it's so part of the mess that we have to clean up but we are making lots of soaps which are a lot of fun we just made a face soap for the first time with some lavender infused oil um, I am about to make sage bundles so I figured maybe if this video went that far. I don't know where we're going with this video. I mean, we're going to talk about the moon and whatnot, but uh, I'm about to make some sage bundles and a Denver Pagan Pride coming up. I just had Fort Collins Pagan Pride. I have the Witches Ball, the Denver Witches Ball coming up, which is amazing. So if you're in the Denver area um, and you are looking for some cool events this weekend, we have on Sunday in Cheeseman Park downtown is Denver Pagan Pride and then the following Saturday, the 29th, at the Masonic Center on Federal and 32nd, there is the Denver Witches Ball at 5 o'clock. And there will be a seance at 5.30. There's going to be food trucks. There will be live music. And at midnight, there is a free ritual. So that is a great event. I encourage everybody to come out and have fun. Uh, and, but I'm the vendor coordinator for that. And so it's been very busy. And then I have other events. So it's just been a really busy, hectic, hectic time uh, so which is always interesting because when you look at what's going on astrologically it's just very reflective and however we each walk our own journey through these transitions I imagine that there are many people out there who have found the last couple of months very, very challenging and very hectic and very much like things are all coming to an end, abruptly coming to an end. We have final truths coming out. We have big truths. Um, the Saturn Uranus square has really been disruptive to the hierarchy of like our society in both a like grand scheme. We have all over the world we have governments coming to light and uh, I was just watching a thing this morning about the UK and their prime minister resigning after 60 days or something like that like just crazy things happening all over the world in these governments and we obviously see what's going on in Ukraine and Russia and just um, you know oh, the 
list goes on and on, but we have a lot of upheaval going on. And that is really, I mean, it's just how the astrologic, as, astrologically the influences and then we see that playing out on each person individually and how it affects them. And it just is a reminder that even though we are each our own drop in the bucket, we are each our own individual person creating these ripples around us. We are all in this universal bucket and all of this energy is interchanging and connecting and flowing and weaving its story into these different aspects and However, sometimes you're really challenging, like this time that many of us are going through right now. There are also beautiful things that come about, you know, after revolutions and revelations and changes and rebirths and all of those kind of things. We come out the other side, you know, smarter, wiser, stronger, better equipped to deal with the next thing. And as we are in this energy right now, both within the time of the year because we're coming up on Samhain or Halloween. Um, we're coming up on mid-fall, um, this end time, this conclusion. And astrologically, this dark moon that's coming up is a uh, solar eclipse. It is a very dark moon is what... Um, one of the astrologers that I was watching was saying, she's like, this is a very dark time because we have this eclipse, we have this dark moon, we are in this dark time of the year. This is very much like coming into the womb, coming into this very dark period. And you cannot just get stuck seeing all of the turmoil and chaos and devastation and, you know, endings. And endings are not always beautiful. Endings are not always like rosy and peaceful and like, okay, we'll see you later, or this is the end of this, and shake hands and walk away. Everybody is familiar with, you think back about all of the endings you've had, very few of them are peaceful. Very few of them are like super fond memories where you're like, oh, that was such a great party, and we had just this amazing time, and it's just not how they turn out. There was somebody coming in my cousin, which was weird because I just turned around. Um, <laughs> but <clears throat> when we come to these endings, you cannot just get stuck in that ending. You have to be able to look forward. You have to be able to see that this has changed. This, this is the end of this so that we can make way for this new thing. Um, and astro astrologically right now, there is this gentle reminder that however we might be in this place of like dark secrets all bubbling to the surface and and reality and and truth and challenging this authority there has also underneath the surface been this beautiful gestation of new amazing energy that is just waiting for us to slough off this yuck and start something fresh and so that is just something to keep in mind as you move through this dark season. It's not going to be like by you know, November, we're out into the light. Um, no, there's very few like those kind of things, unfortunately. Uh, so let's get into some of the astrological things that are coming up with this dark moon. Like I said, it's in Scorpio. It's on October 25th. So it'll be just right before Samhain. Um, and we have the end of the Saturn Uranus squares. This has been going on for two years and it's really been this struggle of Uranus shaking up this society, societal structure. That's what Saturn is. And Uranus just comes in and it's like, hey, hello, what is going on here? Um, it's like an earthquake in our society. And it revealed a lot of truths. It got rid of a lot of the like facade and the blinders and the things that have kept us from seeing these truths. And unfortunately, it has been devastating to a lot of cultures, to a lot of people. It has been a really rough last two years. Um, I 
can't even say some of the things because it's ridiculous. But censorship, uh, COVID, war, uh, I mean, just inflation, I mean, market crashes. Uh, it's it, There is just like this horrible list of things. And we all as individuals have to stop and look at our own, like, this is what's going on. This is this is reality. And that is the only way that we can be able to begin to move forward is that we as a collective have to all see the truth, the same truth, and nothing but the truth. <laughs> so that we can make informed proper decisions, not based off of people's pocketbooks or greed or lies or all of these things that have littered our society for so long. And At the end of this square that we're in right now, I believe it's in, uh, I want to say June, uh, November, it will leave this square, begin to, it's a slow leave, so it's, again, it's not going to be like suddenly the wool just goes back over and everybody forgets what happens. No, uh, it's a slow leave, and we'll, but we're going to start to be able to rebuild this society, and we want to be able to rebuild our world with better tools, wiser decisions, honesty, integrity, all of these things that are really important in order to have a success, successful community. So just keep that in mind, especially as we go into like in America, we're going into voting season, really keep in mind about integrity and, and what you want your government to represent as you go and vote, because that is our right. And in all democracies, that is our right. And if you're just voting because of a commercial you saw or because of an idea or because of this or that, you need, you need to do a better job at looking into what you're voting for so that we're making good, informed decisions based off truth and reality and all of that great stuff. But <laughs> anyways, I should not watch political videos before in my morning <clears throat> before I get to this point. I guess normally I make these videos really early in the morning, so I'm not like influenced by my day's intake. But anyways, <laughs> as we are moving into this solar eclipse, I uh, don't believe we're going to see it in the United States. I think that it'll be in the Southern Hemisphere, probably South Africa, Australia, um, Antarctica, that kind of place. I would have to look to be certain, but... I'm going to go with that's where it's going to be seen. And this is a great time for manifestation because, again, it is all into the darkness. And then what is it that we are going to have when we come out into the light? Um, it is in Scorpio. So these are going to be like fiery, permanent changes. And there's going to be deep feelings. There's going to be secrets that are revealed. There's going to be like mm, there's some murky murky situations coming to light. Um, but like I was saying with Uranus, we have this new beginning underneath. Uranus is conjunct with the North Node, which is this place of new births. And Uranus is like, hey, let's make this sudden change. We're going to have an upheaval so that we can reveal truth and clarity and we can rebirth this better thing. Uh, and so that is really amazing and we can tap into that energy and we can begin that manifestation process and it it is a process you're going to go through this whole dark time of the year so from now all the way until yule when we begin that new but that's how we're manifesting spend all of this time manifesting that energy focusing on that manifestation realizing that manifestation seeing it and really truly in envelop in I don't, indulging it, I'm not sure what the right word is there, but you have to really truly see it and feel it, you know, smell it, visualize it to the point where you can touch it. Uh, those, that's the kind of manifestation energy that we have right here. And if you focus your energy and you help yourself to see that, you will realize that and be able to manifest that. On a like universal energy, we are at this place with all of this great turmoil uh, that 
this is a big ending. It's not just a little cycle. This is an ending of a big cycle. And we as individuals choose how we want to step into that next cycle. And so if we want to step into that next cycle with heightened awareness, with a you know, wiser outlook, you have to make those changes. So now is that time. If that's the reality you want to manifest later, then now is the time to begin to Okay, what am I going to need in order to manifest that? Let me see it. Let me do it. Let me really focus on that. Um, <clears throat> Mars, I just want to talk about the good stuff first. <laughs> Mars is square with Neptune right now, which reminds us to really listen to our heart's fiery passion and to find that truth and the truth of our heart. So it really energizes you know, Mars really energizes Neptune and it brings about the spiritual information and like this download and you have to listen to your heart as you're getting this download and together you will really be able to have the information that you need to help you with this manifestation. It's just a big circle, you know, um, and it is a reminder to do not see the collapse, but to see the new beginning on the horizon. Uh, the last two things to talk about are Venus and Pluto. And so Venus is conjunct with the moon in this dark area. And it, it has a tendency to bring about this disruptiveness in our financial situations, in our relationships. There's a jealousy um, because it's square with Pluto. And so all together, they are really touching at that heart's energy and raising out those deep and dark secrets, those deeper feelings, those feelings that we don't always face. And that is often in the form of jealousy. It is also in the form of like control, great, you know, you have this great passion, but it can also be possessiveness. Um, and so just be aware of that. And maybe this is a time to either spend that extra time being with your significant other, reconfirming your love for each other and showing each other that you don't have other things to worry about because this is a strong, true, healthy relationship. Um, this might also be a time when if you're in relationships, those secrets are going to come to light and you're going to be like, oh, I saw that email and now I know. Uh, <laughs> and it's just important when you get that information you don't coincidentally come across information like that unless the you know energies are telling you something. So just listen to that energy and, and trust your intuition and follow through with it. If you find that email or if you get into that argument or if you get into this place, this is something that needs to be discussed. And you have to be able to discuss it openly and honesty and with an open heart and be honest with not only each other, but with yourselves and know that you have to be able to move forward with these decisions. Uh, so just be aware that the secrets are probably gonna come to light if they're there. Uh, and your emotions can manifest physically. That's another thing to be aware of as you have stress or anger, or sadness. A lot of times we can uh, we can manifest that in our bodies as sickness, as muscle pains, as stomach cramps, just different kind of things. And you have to be able to calm your mind. You have to be able to be in the moment and find peace. And, you know, take that deep breath. Take those big belly breaths. Relax yourself. And try to work through the emotions that are bubbling up to the surface, even if they're hard emotions. You, your, your insides, your internalness is telling you to deal with it. It is saying, hey, let's get, let's deal with this. I know it's hard, but now is the time. And so as those memories, as those issues, as those feelings, emotions, whatever is bubbling to the surface. And I mean, we have to talk about this in a negative aspect because a lot of times it's negative emotions that, that we tend not to let out, but Sometimes it's happiness. Sometimes there's joy that we keep internalized and we just keep it under wraps, keep it under wraps, keep it under wraps. But this really brings me joy. 
this is also that time when those things are going to want to come out. And so let them blossom and manifest in your life and, and allow that to change. So take these things that are not bringing you joy, get rid of them, and really manifest these things that are giving you joy. Deal with the emotions that are holding you back so you can make room for that joy. And again, with the energy of stepping into Samhain and this dark time of the year, you know, very short days and it's cold, this is really that time when it's time to reflect and it's time to focus on knowing yourself, on understanding where your motivations come from, knowing what your coping mechanisms are and are they productive? Are they helping you? Are you manifesting the reality that you want? What is it that is keeping you back or moving you forward, you know, all of those things. Who is the person that you want to be? This is the time to really focus on all of that so that when we get to Yule, when we get to the winter solstice and that time of new light and new beginnings, you can put all of your energy into what you are manifesting and not into understanding and knowing. That's this dark time. So focus on that. I even started using my introspective journal as my daily journal, kind of why I kind of misprint. See, the front says the celestial wheel. But the inside of the book is the introspective journal. <laughs> it was funny. Um, but I almost forgot. So here's our natal chart. This is a very simple drawing here. We have the moon and the sun which is conjunct with Venus, and that is, a, we have the North Node, and we have Uranus, and over here we have Pluto and Saturn, and Jupiter is way over here by itself, which a little bit about Jupiter, it's about to go stationary and then retrograde, <clears throat> and so we'll feel like, you know, a lot of this Jupiter has been so big and bold and like in your face all of a sudden. I haven't been here to talk about it, but it has really been big and bold and in your face, and that energy is going to kind of settle down. Um, but it is giving one big last kick because right now it is at zero degrees Aries, and so it is in that first sign. It is in the zero degree of the first sign of the zodiac, and it is that energy. So it is this really like fiery punch that you've got right here, right now, so that you can chop, chop, get these things manifested. Um, and so as we go into the dark time of the year, just take that time for yourself. Even if it is as simple as every day you take five minutes to sit down, take deep breaths and relax and just be at peace in the moment and not think about yesterday, tomorrow or today or anything else and just be it and let that be your start and let that happen. Uh, this is what that time is for. If you are at a higher place in your practice, not higher, a, a different place in your practice, self-care, all of those things. It's, you know, it's just really about reflecting on yourself and being true to yourself and being able to manifest that ideal self. We all have that ideal self in our brain. We're like, this is who we are. And very few of us actually live up to that expectation. And many of us are mad at ourselves a lot of the time for not living up to that expectation. And that's an unfair reality to hold yourself up to. Every time I create one of these wheel of, because <laughs> it says wheel of the year, that's not it. Is. But every time I create one of these introspective journeys, that's part of the whole thing is that you have to be able to reflect on yourself and think, Am I taking the time to take care of myself and, and do the things that I need to do in order to manifest my ideal self? And am I creating this negative, this negative self talk and this negative environment because I am in essence punishing myself for not being my ideal self? And that's one of those things you really got to consider as you go into this time. So that's the question I'm going to ask you to reflect on as you go into this dark moon and take some time to reflect with yourself and think about 
are you creating the self, the reality, the world, the, the self, really? Are you creating the self that you ideally see? And where you sit with that thought? It's a big thing. I could just try to try to make another video about it. Um, I do. <laughs> we do have versions of the introspective journey that are not with the wrong cover. Uh, you can find those on Amazon. I have now the introspective journey two, which we will be going over as we go through the dark time of the year. So I would love if everyone would join me for that. I just have to close off by saying I had the most interesting conversation that motivated me to make this video. So if you're watching this, I love you. Uh, but I had the most interesting conversation with one of my dear friends about my YouTube channels. And I have a couple videos that have gotten up there quite in numbers. And uh, which is very exciting. And she's like, we need to get this. Like, you could really be successful. And it's kind of all over the place. And really, it is. But uh, I just, after her and I spoke, I was like, I have to make a video. I have to get back into making these videos. And just so everyone who is on my subscription list or gets notifications, I would love it if everybody did. So hit the bell and go ahead and get notified. You don't have to watch all of them, but that would be amazing. There is different content throughout the videos and throughout the year and the season, kind of based off of what's happening in the energy. Um, <clears throat> so if you're into plants, that'll be a lot in the springtime and the summertime. Right now we're getting into the harvest, so I just harvested all of my sage, and I'm about to make sage bundles. Just really simple. Just take it. And I've got cotton string. I like cotton string. Just for future reference, if you're looking for cotton string at the store, it's normally under machine quilting. So that's another tip. But the videos are very sporadic. They're all over the place. I will try to keep, get back, not try. I will get back to doing the full moon and dark moon videos. So you'll always be able to find those here. My goal is to really just share wisdom and experience and to help encourage you to get out and find your own experiences and, and learn along the way. So I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I hope you're enjoying your fall season. It's beautiful here. It's like 75 degrees in October in Colorado. I have tomatoes still growing outside, even though I knocked the plant over and was like, we're done. <laughs> I decided this one, there's still tomatoes. Uh, so I hope everybody is having a fantastic fall and that all is well with you and many blessings.